Welcome to Powerhouse Believers Network. This is a very, very important, you know, information I want to bring to you, especially in your spiritual journey. Parents uh, want you to listen even the more because there are things that the enemy, you know, does very early in the life of a child, when the child is coming up, especially if the child is a unique child. Every child with a unique destiny, usually they are attacked when they are small. The Bible says that when Jesus Christ was born, the wise men saw his star. And when they saw his star, they began to trace the star to where he was, you know, he was kept. He was kept. And the reason why they were, you know, tracing, you know, that star was because they were led by God, you know, to him at that time. And what happened was that they went there for good. But just imagine that it was an enemy. It was an evil, you know, uh, star gazer. Whoever is an evil personality that saw that star and went there. Now, when they saw the star and it was, um, and they began to inquire, and then Herod got to know. And Herod said, okay, if you find that child, if you found that child, let me know. I will also come and worship that king that was born. And it was just with an ulterior motive. And it's the same when a child is born. Any child with a very big uh, key destiny, major destiny, or with major gift that will affect his or her generation, usually those children are attacked when they are small. And that's why you need to pay attention. Any child that is often attacked maybe with sickness, with um, one kind of you know terrible affliction or the other. And you can't imagine, you can't even understand. Especially some of them, you right from the womb. The attack began right from the womb. And not just that, as they were born, one complication or the other. Those are special children. Those are special children. The enemy have seen their star and then wants to make sure that they do not even leave. They do not even exist to fulfill their purpose, to fulfill their destiny. And that's the reason why the enemy comes so early to attack them. If you look at the description in, in, in Revelation, in the book of Revelation chapter 12, where the, the woman was to give birth to a child and a dragon was said to, to swallow that baby, you know. And when the dragon was prevented from doing that, the Bible says, and the woman was taken and the child was taken, and the dragon came with so much, so much, so much, you know, anger, anger against the seed of that particular woman. The, the thing you need to understand is that if you see your, your, your child, you know, getting afflicted or maybe perhaps getting misbehaving and you can't understand, you should know that that child is a unique child that the devil want to cut off or the devil want to turn and change that destiny, you know, to another thing. And then you will just begin to see that child as if the child doesn't want to pick up but not knowing that that child is being attacked. And what you need to do as a child of God or somebody who have understanding, you will begin to know that this is a special child. And if this is a special child, one thing that you owe that child is to begin to defend for him. You begin to defend for him. You begin to pray, you know, for him early. You begin to stand in the place of welfare for that very life, for that very child, when you begin to notice that. And another thing you need to do is to begin to teach that child scriptures early. Early. To begin to speak the word of the Lord. Early. Early. Reciting the word of the Lord in power. In understanding. Begin to let that child get to know, you know God early. That is one of the security that that child can have. So you must pray. You must pray. And especially because it has to do with the star. The connection between our lives and our stars. Every child has a star. Every man, everyone who is on the earth has a star. And usually when you are out of this earth, your star goes away. All right. The Bible says they saw his star. So everybody has a star. Everybody has a star. So what you need to do is that usually you must also be someone who engages the night. Engage the night. You know, at the, at in the night, the star is brightest. The star is brightest. And especially at the hour of 12 o'clock, the star is brightest. And at that point, you will begin to speak 
come outside and begin to address the star of that particular baby, of that particular child, and begin to speak that no darkness can cover that child's star, that that child must shine. Begin to speak. I am talking about from the hours of 12 o'clock, 12 midnight to 3 a.m. is very significant, especially when you see a child being afflicted in that dimension. In that degree, when it is an awful sickness, awful affliction, in the night, come out of your house. Begin to speak and address the star of that child. Because it is very likely that a star, you know, somebody is pursuing that star and afflicting that star. And so long as they are afflicting the star, they are afflicting that child. So you need to know this spiritual connection. You need to know the connection. And then you can stand and don't allow the enemy don't allow the enemy. He said they saw his star and they went for him. But in this case, it was for good. He went to give him gift. But in some other cases, it will be for bad. They just saw the star and they want to destroy that life. And that was what Herod was doing. And the Bible said when Herod did not succeed, he made a decree. He, they made the finding. And they said every child be, between two and below. They went and killed every child between two and below in the, in the whole of the province, in the whole of the territory of Herod. You can see what kind of level of wickedness that that could be. That is the extent that the enemy can go. So when he saw, when he sees your child and your child is a destined child, you begin to see so many troubles, so many troubles, so many troubles. Even right from the womb, you begin to see the troubles begin to come. And what you do is that you begin to speak early. You begin to cover that child. You know, cover the star of the child with the blood of Jesus Christ. And you begin to decree that any, any, anything that is raised, any standard raised against the child, let the standard collapse. Let the standard be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to speak if you have a child like that. You know, if you have a child like that, I want you to place the hand of that child, you know, on the screen of your, 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 your tablet or whatever you're using, your phone, whatever you're using to watch this particular, you know, message. I want you to place the hand of that child. Any child that has been afflicted like that is a destined child. Don't joke with them. They have destiny, strong destiny. They are people who are meant to influence lives in a very greater measure. And so they are not people you should joke with. Place the hand of that child. On the, on the screen right now and I'm going to pray right now in the name of Jesus you child your star is covered with the blood of Jesus and those who are after you I command fire against them in the name of Jesus Christ and behold I break it out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ anybody who is standing against you against your life I command that their works are terminated in the name of Jesus and I speak that your afflictions are over and I decree that affliction, that sickness, that particular torment is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's exactly what you do. And then, of course, as a parent, I want you to know that at the middle of the night, you know, come out of your, of your house, come out and begin to look at the star and speak, mention his name and make a decree and that child will be liberated in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what it is. So children that are experiencing all of those things are children that we should pay close attention to. And like I have said, pray for them. That's number one. Number two, I want you to um, teach them the word of God early. Take them to church. Take them to meetings, Christian meetings, gospel meetings, where they preach Jesus. So that the word can begin to enter the spirit right when they are very, very small. And if you do that, you will discover that you have been able to save a destiny for God. Because usually, these people are very, very special children. And that's why the devil come after them very, very early. Let other people know about this particular truth and let them be guided. The scriptures that you saw, you know, we put on this from the beginning. Please go through those scriptures. Read them over and over. And you can, you can pray very well. And understanding will come to you. The Lord bless you. If you are just coming to our channel for the very first time, consider subscribing and be part of this great family and not just that i want you to also you know click on the like button you know to allow us being shown to this message being shown to many many people and share with other people the lord bless you and until we meet again remain strong